was the night before. Santa? Saint Nick? Where did you get those suspenders? <laughs> I mean, if I were rocking those around the Christmas tree, I'd be feeling dandy too. I'm Matt Fox. I'm the owner of Fine and Dandy, which is a men's accessory shop on 49th Street in Manhattan. Well, now this is Fine and Dandy. Tell me about suspenders. Suspenders, the origin of suspenders. Suspenders date back to 18th century France when they were literally just strips of ribbon that uh, buttoned two of men's trousers. Suspenders that we know of today really kind of go back to the early 1800s, but suspenders were really kind of known as undergarments. Uh, it's the 1940s when we started to see two-piece suits rather than three-piece suits, and you started to see fewer and fewer suspenders. Men preferred to wear belts rather than suspenders. We started to see more suspenders in the 1980s after the movie Wall Street, where Michael Douglas was rocking the suspenders and the power suits. But then, unfortunately, after that came Urkel, which was not good for suspenders. So, Matt, when do you think they started coming back? It's really in the last eight to ten years when uh, men's style hit rock bottom and we started to swing up, and men just kind of started to care more and more about how they looked, and that's just overall, which included suspenders. Obviously, Santa's got it going on, but what's the correct way to actually wear suspenders? So suspenders, that's something where you can have fun with. You can have, wear a fun color, a fun design. But we always say just make sure you wear like real authentic button suspenders, no clips. Clips are fake suspenders as far as we're concerned. Mm -hmm.